will AU take you? Where 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 will AU take you? Brussels. Brussels. I chose the Brussels program because I've always been interested in government and government relations. Uh, when I looked at the information for the Brussels program and I, I saw that it incorporated uh, very strong academic elements and very strong professional elements, I thought this is the perfect package. You get a little bit of everything. Uh, I chose the Brussels program because I am an international affairs major with a focus in international organizations and I thought why not to do the Brussels program and it was the best thing I've ever done in my whole college experience. The Brussels program was all about ex experiential learning. So not only did you talk about these organizations, you went to the European Parliament, you went to the European Council, you saw how the European uh, Court of Justice operated. Everything that you're learning, you're actually applying. So when we learned about the problems Kosovo was having and how it wants to be part of the EU, when we actually went to Kosovo and we were sitting down and talking to government representatives, we applied that knowledge, asking them questions, and then that merged very well with class. So I would say the most useful thing is that you're seeing your education in action. I interned at the European Consumers Organization, which is basically a lobbying firm. And uh, we looked at how, uh, we looked at consumer rights, the technology sector, the business sector, and how it influenced uh, consumers' day-to-day -day lives. And we would lobby the European Parliament, which was three blocks away, so that was amazing. Uh, in Brussels, I interned at Covington and Burling. Uh, they have offices all over the world. Uh, I was an intern uh, for the managing partner. He treated me like I was one of his legit workers. I wasn't just an intern, he wanted me to learn and he made that really clear. So he was very demanding and I appreciated that. He always expected the best and it forced me to adapt myself to a very different working environment. Jerry is one of the smartest human beings I've ever met. I've never met someone that's so brilliant and who can break down concepts to layman's terms. And he, he forced you to have an analytical mind and he really does give you a world-class education. My homestay was fantastic. Um, I had a homestay mom named Adriana. She's Argentinian. Uh, and she made me feel like I was actually home. She cooked great food. I never ate the same plate twice. And so she was very into what I was doing. She was very interested. Um, and I loved that she was invested in my experience. She would stay up and be like, how did it go? How was your class? How was your test? She really cared for what I was learning and the life experiences I was getting. Uh, my homestay was amazing. My family was the best family in the whole world. Um, I felt at home immediately. They cared about me. They, you know, relaxed me when I was stressing about finals and midterms. And it, it was an integral part of the, the Brussels experience. Get to know Belgium, uh, interact with uh, Belgians as much as you can because Bel Belgium is a very special place, Brussels is a very special place and you can make so many connections with people um, from all over the world because the, Brussels is the, the capital of the European Union. My advice for students that are about to go abroad is to open your mind. Uh, when you get to the place just let yourself experience everything. Let life throw all of those things at you. Don't close yourself off to anything. Be really open to the opportunities that the new places are offering you. So I 
although it might seem scary at times, um, it's definitely good to go with a super open mind. Yeah. So just do it. <laughs>